Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just check here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new De Class A Hot Ring Sabre, which is just released with the SA Super Sport Series DLC. Now, this car actually looks really, really fucking cool. It's going to cost you $830,000 to purchase uh, from Southern San Andreas website or Super Auto, should I say. And, uh, you know, it looks fucking sweet, man. It looks... It's just a stock car at the end of the day and it looks amazing for it so we're going to get this purchase get it into the lsc and see what sort of customizations we can do so you go my bros as you pull on trellis customs you'll see the hot ring saber is in the sports category and as always guys we're going to start this build with 100 percent body armor then we're going to go to the brakes we're going to purchase race brakes then we've got the engine we're going to get the level four engine upgrade and then that's it really there's not no bumper option no headlight option um no hood option we've got lights so we but we can't purchase any um, any other lights than the neon lights because they're fucking covered. Shit. But it is a stock car, so what do you expect? Then we've got the liveries. Now, this is something that I hope impresses because this is the main you know, vocal point of the car. It being a stock car, it's got to have really good liveries. You know, I'm not a massive fan of liveries, but because of the style of the car, I'm actually going to be digging a lot of these. Um, that looks fucking awesome. Really like the camo one. There, it just looks really, really cool. That's quite simplistic, a little bit. Mm, not really what I'm looking for. I want to be outlandish. I want to find something fucking crazy. Something look, you know, it's going to stand out as you're driving down the road. That is very patriotic of Rockstar. <laughs> Another Stars and Stripes livery. Uh, Bank of Liberty. Mm, not a massive fan of that one. Uh, that's not too great. So there's some cool ones, man. That's um, that's not too bad. What's that say? Lucky Plucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rockstar and your wit. <laughs> uh, the 56 device actually looks really cool. Oh, I like that, man. That's a cool name as well. 56 device. That's sweet. Uh, this one, nah, not much a fan of that one. That looks cool. Really like that one. And the coffee bean. Shit. That's probably the best one so far, I think. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that rocket. Fucking me. Fucking me. Oh my god. I see a dick and I say that. What am I thinking? <laughs> but a lot of these liveries, man, are cool. That actually looks really smart. Loving the flames on the front of that. It goes really well with the uh, rest of the logos that are on there. So there's loads of lo ro loads and loads of liveries to choose from. We've got the Slaughter. Righteous Slaughter, which is pretty cool. So that's a, what's that? A video game, I think, in in uh, the story mode so that's a pretty cool livery to have especially with the white background as well it looks good so there's loads of them mate what the fuck cover up paint was that like a fucking gay pride um it must be cover up it's got to be and it's got to be a, a pun on gay pride that with that livery with them colors <laughs> shit rockstar always controversial <laughs> always <laughs> these ones are locked man what you got to do for what purchase with ah oh, fuck me so you got to win win races to unlock these ones but i'm not too worried to be honest because they're not that great i think the ones that are already unlocked are probably better you know they're cool you know don't get me wrong but they're not as good as the ones that are already unlocked in my opinion so i won't be worrying too much about that anyway what one are we going to purchase that one looks pretty cool but it means keeping the car white in my opinion that one was cool but I think overall, the 56 device was probably the best one uh, that I saw that I can think of. And it's got a fucking cool name as well, man. So we're going to purchase that one. So next we've got the respray. I don't think I'm going to change this colour. Um, because the black and the white look really good. And I think if I change it, it's just going to look not as good, you know. So I'm going to keep it white for the second, for the primary colour, sorry. And then for the secondary colour, I'm going to go classic. I'm not sure what it's going to change. Uh, it's just a roll cage. So I am going to change that. I'm going to change it to black. So next we've got the suspension. Not sure if I'm going to change this or not. Ooh. Oh my god. That actually looks fucking really good slam. So I'm going to go with the competition suspension. For the transmission, I'm going to get a race transmission and a turbo tuning. Now for the wheels. That's a no-brainer. I'm not going to change them. Because you're not going to get anything remotely close 
to uh, the stock rims that we've got at the moment and it's just going to look fucking stupid with any other rims than the stock ones I mean just look, look oh, why would you do it you wouldn't do it that's just offending me looking at it right now so I'm going to quickly come out of it I'm not going to change the wheels you don't need to change the wheels but can we get the bulletproof tyres we can with the stock rims we can get the bulletproof tyres so no worries there so I'm going to stay stock for the tyres and the wheels and get the bulletproof tyres and all that fucking shit and to finish off the build we can change to light smoke window tint but oh we do have a rear window so it does make sense so as always guys we are going to finish the build with light smoke window tint so you go my dudes there is the brand new de class a hot ring saber which is just released with the, with the most current dlc and this car sounds amazing it sounds so so good and i'm really impressed with the way it looks that livery is is fucking sweet it is so cool man like i said before i'm not a massive fan of overly complicated liveries with loads of logos and stuff but for the type of vehicle that it is and the sort of livery that it is they go well so good they go together so nicely it is you know it's crazy uh not tons amount of customization to this car but i wasn't expecting it to be honest you know uh, in, the, in the way of customization you can't really expect too much because stock cars are universally very very similar to each other um, other than the liveries to be fair so I'm really impressed with the way this the way this car has been put together man you know it is a bit strange driving a car and not seeing them brake lights when you brake it's fucking weird but this car sounds awesome it looks awesome and I'm really really impressed with it what was it eight hundred thirty thousand dollars I think it was let me just double check that for you I need to make sure that my facts are correct so we're going to go to Southern San Andreas and check that out so you go, ladies and gentlemen, it was $830,000, so I was correct, And uh, but anyway, this car looks amazing. Was that one of the new ones as well? Yo! Is he in the... Man, he's in the new fucking... Is it... Oh, what's it? The new Cohen Seg. Can't think what it's called in, in game now, but it looks fucking sweet. Can't wait to customise that. Uh, straight off the line, look at that. Oh, man, what the fuck was that? What's your problem? What... <laughs> What's all that about, man? Oh, fucking Rockstar and GTA and pedestrians, man. They're fucking nuts. <laughs> you just fucking sideswiped me. But anyway, like I was going to say, I can't wait to customise that new currency, which has been released. I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head now. But anyway, um, yeah, go back to this vehicle. For $830,000, you're getting a very unique vehicle. You're getting a very unique sound of it, because I don't think there's many vehicles in this game with this same engine sound. That just sounds fucking mean as hell and amazing. Um, Customisation obviously lacks a little bit, because like I said, universally, the stock car are very, very similar to each other other than liveries, but you get loads of options for liveries. And it, is, it seems really, really quick as well in a straight line. Um, acceleration was a bit, bit slow. You know, it didn't seem that great. A wheel spins quite a lot. And then uh, go around corners. It seems quite heavy, but it's not too bad. And the traction on it is unreal. I mean, it just it's not gonna, it's just not sliding at all. See what I mean? How well that's holding there. It's fucking impressive. So yeah, overall, I think this car is definitely worth eight hundred thirty thousand dollars for a very unique looking vehicle. And it's quick too, by the seams of it. It seems really, really quick. Now, the only downside, like I've already said, is the uh, the customization. But you can't really expect anything other than what we got with this type of vehicle. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy, if you did, please smash a like. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.